Hello all and welcome back to House of Ashes. Continuing our journey through this. Uh, oh. We haven't seen the thing on the right yet. So that's uh, interesting. We last left off with uh, the two guys, Nick and Jason. We didn't see uh, Rachel. That's kind of surprising to see that image. Although I was pretty sure she was alive since we didn't actually see her die. Uh, oh. How many soldiers are present in the tunnels? Oh, we saw this cutscene already. The ground collapsed uh, when we fell down with you. I assumed it saved after the cutscene. You alone when you attacked us earlier? I don't know what you're talking about. Fire! I didn't attack I guess we'll just watch anyone. this again. You attacked me. You attacked my wife. Your wife? Yes. On the cliff. She Where that didn't save after this cutscene? I always did. I am sorry. You will be. I promise you that. How deep does this go? Dropkick, this is Mailman T1 Actual. Approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Full check. Bayless scans have picked up a much larger structure below the temple. Yeah, so that's, um, I'm guessing the tunnels that we saw in the intro. That the, uh, the, uh, I guess were the monsters where they lived. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before. They could come again. That's something we have to keep in mind also. We saw that information from before that they are supposed to be blind and they hunt by sound. So that's something to be very, be very careful of, especially with guns that make a lot of noise. So we might not want to shoot very much in a lot of situations. All right, here we're coming to you where we left off last time, these stairs. Okay, and I'm gonna be, I think it's Jason. Yep, here we go. Light is already on. Walk very slowly down these stairs. Have to be very careful, don't trip and fall. And again, there's so much light in there. Like, it, oh, this is the room from, from the intro where those two guys died. Right around here is where they died. That might be... Closest have been to hell. Oh. Very well lit. So let's see. Uh, that door at the far end, I think I'm going to go through last. Let's take a look at all this stuff. Uh, I'll look around here before I look into that pit. One of the archaeologists, I'm guessing, from before. Oh. What is that? What she do to deserve that? What? Killed a stake through the heart. A stake through the heart. Again, the vampire thing. Is that a secret, apparently? Wait, why are you doing that? Why actually would you do that? Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? Oh, uh, that thing doesn't come back to Buffy? life. <laughs> Who? What are you... Come on. Maybe you should hold on to that. That show was great, Buffy. Um, well, if it's a, it's a thing to use, keep it. No reason to get rid of it. Never know when you're going to need a sharpened steak, right? Okay, so we're going to use that, definitely. Uh, let's see, in here. Anything around here? No. Oh, actually, there was, there was a thing here, wasn't there? Like a stell or something? So that's gone. Maybe they took it. Archaeologists took it. Stink of death and was lured with enough to be covered in flies. Crows stinks. 
crow thinks down here after robbing them. I pity those hapless wanderers, the fear they must have felt. This was not what he wanted to show us. He? Unearthly. When Mary asked what it was, Bradshaw nudged to Crow, who broke open the dynamite. She said she intended to find out. Yes. So Crow um, said he saw some stuff down here. Blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanating from beneath. Casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. Oh, geez, that's elaborate. What mysteries lie below, I wonder. Undisturbed by the world above. What's that? It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no shit. Oh, jeez, he <laughs> ran up to me real fast. Can you look around the perimeter? That's where he wants to go, so I'm going to go through there last. As per natural. Oh, stone thing. Rachel sets a dynamite. A tripwire. And that other carcass here. Secret. Looks like he's been drained dry. Bloodless. Okay, yeah, yeah. That'd be one of so we're gonna get vampires are the thing. So light, stakes, straining blood, bat-like. Any other vampire stuff we're going to get? Um, what is there? Garlic? Find out. I assume there's not a lot of garlic around here. Um, we just came through there. So then the last thing in this room is the pit. This was apparently the builders? I think they said in the intro. There's a hole over there on the right. Is that for anything? Nothing to look at here? Why? This guy does weird stuff. I don't get him, really. So now through here, this is where those things came up one of the directions they also came from the front somehow oh that thing was from that uh, guy's necklace More the crap. story of the nothing that's gonna get us yeah uh... what were they called again check out the carvings on it the goody the garani the gold eye Right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. Uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, where was it? I always, for some reason, I can't get that stuff ever. Uh, let's see. What would it be? This thing. A cylinder seal depicting an ancient city. I'm not sure how you could tell it's a city. Um, there was this thing. Was this something? A uh, hold stone depicting people praying to something in the sky. That was the only stuff I think I want to really look at. Except maybe this. The list corpse. Strange puncture marks on its neck. Of course on its neck. So anything else? Anything over to the sides here? Not there. There is some tough structures. That's the way forward, so don't touch that yet. There's Pazuzu, our pal. More Pazuzu. This has no prompt. Interesting, actually. It's a door. 
So uh, this is all that's left. Uh, oh, go to the prompt area. Oh, we're going to Looks forward. like okay. a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some chargers? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell the difference? They can't see. We shouldn't underestimate them. If we mine the sites, we're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Oh, no. Ah. I'll go with what he thinks. Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right. They won't see this one coming. Now, is there... What would be the, the downside of that? Putting them on the side instead of the pillars. I'm not really even sure what the difference would be. The main thing I'm worried about is that... Brain taken away. What is it? If there's tripwires, we might trip warning. them as we... Fuck, man, Run. I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Oh, the yeah. person that was killed. What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Yeah. Why is it that no one ever tells it straight? Everyone just makes a bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? Uh, we fucked up. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, maybe it's what we deserve. And so these props are getting really fast. I wonder if those are more influential in the game. You know I was seeing Rachel. Oh, are you we're just serious? saying this? Oh, he didn't? He didn't know? Why did he... In three weeks. Oh, that's not very long, actually. It's harm. Oh, you just randomly say that? Dropkick, this okay. is Mailman 2 and Guess you're not going to reference that anymore. It's maze down here. Is this the signature Kayla's picked up on? Over. That's a negative, Sergeant. Looking at something way deeper. Deeper. Pull back for now. Drop kick out. Found a camera here. Let's head back. And oh, that is a texture. Oh, there's Rachel. Yeah, I'm gonna say those textures didn't load in right away. But yeah, I was pretty sure she was alive. Um, not sure why there's a bunch of fresh blood down here. That seems kind of weird. Like, what would the fresh blood even be from? Especially this much of it. Also, where are these fighters down here? Eric? Eric? Where are you? Yeah, how are you? Where do these fighters come from? Where do you even start? Was it from, like, uh... Oh, I thought that was a stick for a second, jeez. Nick? Jason? So we're going to explore down here. Her lighter? Oh, she doesn't need it. There's so many fires you can see. Fine. Well, there's like front and center, there's Pazuzu. Escape the chasm. Now, I have the inkling. Is there something back this way? A little hidden thing, maybe? Okay, I can't climb on top of this stuff. Nope, no hidden thing back here. Now, I'm wondering if I should watch the water for ripples. Although it would seem kind of nonsensical for these things to be submerged in the water. But, uh, you know, it's a horror game. That's a thing. Over here? No. 
Well, that can't okay. be anything good. Like I was saying, kind of nonsensical. There's a thing on the left there. Let's go around to the left. Maybe I can uh, climb up there and get as far left as possible. Oh, what? Is that a card? In San Frontier? Frontier? I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I guess Doctors Without Borders, maybe? Carte identity card with number. Marie Vinay. Female, 1970, born 1979. What? Born 1979. So who is this? Uh, Director of Operations. I'm confused, wait, she's born 1979. So how did this even get here? What? Hold on. Uh, let's take a look at that. ID card belonged to an aid worker found among the bodies at the bottom of the chasm. How is this even here? It's kind of bizarre. Now where is the... Oh, it moved? Looks like it moved over to there now. Trying to give it a wide berth, whatever it is. Because these are right here in the middle. Is there a prompt on Pazuzu? How's there not a prompt on this thing? It's right there. Anything else? There's a shaft of light. I'll stick to the edge as much as possible. Now it's over on that side. This is from uh, the prologue, one of the helmets, slash marks. And now Rachel actually knows about the, the bats. She read the document, so she would know that information. They're blind and hunt by sound. So that might come up. Where's the splashing now? Should I try and go over there? Could there be something over there? Let's take a look. Oh, that's probably bad. I'm just gonna keep going then. I didn't know there was any particular prompts. Usually they like have at least the white dot at the a little distance. If I didn't see it, with that distance, it's probably not there. Oh, it's, what the hell? Nice. Um, okay, don't freak out. I think that's all that's down here that I could see. Let's get going. Now, I'm fully expecting some quick time events here. Or at least some uh, the rhythm thing to keep, my, keep holding my breath. What was that? Oh, the light. The light doesn't work. She's gonna take, uh, ooh, looks like she's right into the fire there. Oh. Is that gonna burn? Okay, yeah. Although every, everything is very wet. So I'm, I'm gonna be kind of surprised that it's gonna burn. It's going to, but it's kind of surprising. And now it lasts for however long the game wants it to last. Presumably we're gonna go back here and see something that's going on. Yeah. So again, it's kind of weird because I, there's no reason to think they could breathe underwater because they're like bats. So it doesn't make much sense for them to actually be submerged that long in the water. Or maybe at all. Now looking back actually, I don't see it at all.
a little confused on how she didn't come about that statue. Or maybe the prop was in some other part around it. Who knows? Okay. We have a left. Which is probably the way to go. And head over here. Anything in the little alcove? No. There's a, a big wheel? What the hell is that light? What light? That green light? Oh, that, that's probably the phosphorescence they uh, talked about in the, uh, the flashback. That's probably the way to go. What? Hello? Okay. Can I no prompt for this light? Examine. More drawings. There's the teeth. Saliva. We have collected and bottled the black saliva present on the maw of a creature extracted from the cocoon. They're cocoons? Jeez. They're real, real weird here. But bats don't have cocoons, do they? I don't think so. I and the others who smelt the substance have experienced heart palpitations. And heightened sense of fear. Oh, that's an interesting twist on this. Um, they're pressing people afraid. Some have reported odd visual effects, such as a change to colors. What even is that? We have attempted to secure additional samples of the saliva from the site where M was attacked. The smell was so overpowering that respirators were used to collect the samples. We recommend the use of masks at all times when handling samples to avoid becoming affected. Okay, so we're going to need a mask. Sensation similar to experience with mushrooms, psilocybin. So psilocybin is a, a mushroom toxin, I guess, or a drug people use for hallucinations. So I guess um, put on a mask. Oh, this might also tie into, um, maybe we might hallucinate, maybe other people are these things, they attack them. Maybe. Especially if we've been separated so long. Okay, any... Anything going on here? That's behind me, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So that's going to be following me for a while, apparently. Making me nervous. Should I be? Staying still? Or what? I would think of a few pumps. But that was a relevant thing. this very carefully. Let's see, it's excellent trying to fruit them. Anything else for Third person camera. I'm glad Clarice is alive. Whose name? Your wife. My favorite character, probably. What was her name? You don't get to talk about her. So Eric thinks Salim was the one attacking them. Please. But Salim definitely I wasn't. don't mean anything by it. It's just... We're stuck here together. You want to talk? 
All right. Why are you still fighting a war that you've already lost? You think I do this out of choice? That I want to be here? I fight so my son can go to university, so that he can have a better future. Could I use some of that? My son, his name is Zane. Her name was Rachel. What was that creepy... Object? Thing. Don't move. I'm coming straight back. Now, that's not going to be the general. Or maybe it is, because he was... What? Oh, he got out. Okay. So this is interesting. Oh, so he's going to hide. He's not going to be like, hey, I got free body and kill you, so trust me. Damn you! So we're all split up again. So is it going to be a choice now? Who we go after? Oh no, we're just going after whoever that was. Uh, like a line out. Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long a shot. Radio? Is there a radio? We don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Oh, is this supposed to be a radio? Oh, that's bad. Those wires gotta go somewhere, though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. Oh, nah, he well. Don't feel much like climbing out there. Oh, there's a guy. What the fuck, oh. Joey? Oh, God. Huh, okay, so I guess he was... By one of them. Oh, it's him. So they did hear him. Oh, okay. Good thing we took that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's all kind of coming together now. Oh my god. Oh, where is he? Wow, they're, they're very susceptible to light. 